Hey guys, so I'm about to start mixing feed for the cows. Getting the skid loader warmed up. The milk tester is actually here this morning, so collecting a sample from each cow and getting a milk production weight. So I just walked out to the free stall. I'm checking the troughs, seeing how much feed is left over. Just gonna sweep the edges up a little bit. My dad's getting the third group of cows over. If there's just a little bit of feed left, I like to sweep it together so the cows can eat more of it. So we do the milk test once a month for the cows. Just gives us information on the individual cow as far as milk quality and fat and protein content. Every cow's milk's a little bit different, so that way we kind of know what's going on with each one. I backed it in at the commodity barn, so I don't have the mixer running to start off. Just gonna put some grain in at first. Got my scale zeroed off. So those are the weights we're gonna put in for the first seven ingredients there corn and a couple different types of soybeans and then some hay and then we'll put some uh, molasses in out of that tank over there Now I'm taking the skid loader out to the bunk. I'm gonna drop the bucket and we'll put the silent shaver on it. We'll head down to the feed room and get some forages before we get this silage. It's a little cloudy out this morning, at least it's not raining. We're gonna put the molasses in now. Swing the scale the other way. Turn the PTO on, just idle. Last thing is to run the toasted beans out of the bin there. Stuff smells good. It's third cutting off alpha from the last year. We'll put that in and I'm gonna Put a few mineral in while it's running. I got all the mineral in. Haylage is still running. We like to let it just run at idle. So slowly mix in all that mineral, make sure everything's evenly mixed. Once we get the halage in, I'll just shut the mixer off and then we'll have some rye to put in. But I don't need to keep mixing it that whole time. We have rye in this silo. I'm gonna start this up now. While that feed's running, I'm just sweeping the feed in for the dry cows. Looks like they need a little bit more than they got last night. Seem pretty hungry. 
here's the friendly 602. It's just crazy to think that this barn is going to be torn out within the next couple months. It's going to look a lot different around here. Now I'm just letting the rye pile up. As I mentioned before, we don't want to over mix the feed. We want to make sure all the ingredients are mixed in, but if you keep mixing those forages, you kind of break down the particles a little bit too much. You don't want to create a mush, you just want to have everything mixed together the same shape it was when we put it in. Okay, I'm ready to head out to the bunk and get silage. this mix for a few minutes after I'm done filling it and we'll shut it off and then before we run feed out I gotta go out and clean the feed troughs out and get all the old feed from yesterday out Okay, let's run this feed out. I'm just gonna back straight up into the special needs pen to do that first. Now I'm heading down to the heifer barn. I'm just gonna put 200 pounds right at the youngest calves. We like to give them this dairy cow feed. It's just a little bit more nutrients than the regular heifer feed. I'll spread that out nice with the broom then. I can't really do it with the mixer. Now we'll go out to the big barn and run the rest out. Before I run the feed out, I go through and figure out how much I'm going to give each group. We like to write it down because Dad and I are both feeding and if we're not sure what the guy gave before, we might over adjust and give one group too much or not enough. So it's good to just know what the last guy fed them so we can get it accurate. So this morning group three had the most feed left, group two had nothing so I'm just going to adjust a little bit. 2100, 2200, 2250 and 2100. The lights in this barn are on a timer and they just went out. It's a little cloudy this morning, it's a little bit dark still in this barn. Just flip these on.
Now I'm mixing up a little batch of feed for the heifers. Gonna sweep this feed up for these young calves. Just wanted to finish this video off with a little update of the building site. They're putting fill in all day today. The trench is filled up the whole way around the pit. You can walk right around the end now.